The Texas Rangers and the Hidalgo County DA now confirming the arrest of a paralegal from Mission. The Rangers say Juan Salvador Tobad reached out to victims of a car crash offering medical attention and legal counsel. He's now charged with Baratree. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing sat down with a lawyer to understand the charge. He says the problem is it creates incentives for employees and officials involved in the crash recovery to sell a victim's information. It can also lead to legal problems for a victim. Under the law in Texas, you are not supposed to be approached by anyone offering legal or medical services for 30 days after an accident or a disaster. But the law is being broken. You've got individuals that are showing up at the hospital, at their hospital room or their home, offering them services that they haven't requested. The way attorney Jesse Gonzalez sees it, there's a trend. After 20 years in practice, people start reporting the same kinds of things. We've got people that come to my office who say, look, all I did was call 911. And on the basis of making that call, I started receiving a ton of phone calls from total strangers. So how else, if, if you've got a situation like that, um, it isn't too far-fetched to think that, you know, perhaps that person getting that call is the one that's giving out personal information. It's not just your personal information going out. He says the people who sell your information like this are getting paid, and the people who act as brokers are getting paid too. That means your medical care or your legal fees cost you more. And the runners, as he calls them, are not bound by the same strict rules and regulations that doctors, lawyers, and insurance agents have to follow. They'll basically offer them insurance services, yet they're not insurance agents or adjusters. They'll offer them legal services, but they're not lawyers. They're not licensed to practice law. And they'll even talk to them about medical services, and they're not obviously physicians. He says that's a problem because a crash or disaster can put you in a position where you get bad advice, even advice that leads you to break the law. It's very easy for them to say, well, just lie about the whole thing and follow along so that we can get you all this money. He says it doesn't just affect his business, but people's private information and their bottom line. And the more people are informed about this problem, the better they'll be prepared to protect themselves from being taken advantage of. He says it's good to see state and local law enforcement going after these cases. And for this story, we also reached out to Hidalgo County District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez. He says investigations are ongoing and they intend to prosecute these kinds of cases. In Channel 5 News Studio, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.